everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys I've decided to make another doll based on Hollywood classics I have already made a couple of different versions of Marilyn Monroe dolls here on my channel I've made Audrey Hepburn, I've made Marlene Dietrich doll and I've also repainted Lucille Ball and today I want to make a Vivian Lee doll as Scarlett O'Hara and actually you know many of you have been asking me to make Scarlett O'Hara doll since the very beginning of my channel really I remember it was the first or the second year here on YouTube when I put Scarlet in my list of potential future dolls. So today it's finally the moment, today we're finally going to make Vivian slash Scarlet doll and my mom is going to help me with the outfit. I know that many of you really love outfits made by my mom and me myself I also really love outfits made by my mom. So today my mom is going to help me to make one of the beautiful Scarlet's outfits featured in the old Hollywood's Gone with the Wind movie. So, this is it probably, this is everything I wanted to tell you in the beginning of this video. So, the, please, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, support my art here on YouTube with your likes, hit the bell button, all these YouTube things, please don't forget to do it. And now, this being said, let's start working. So, I want to use Frankie for my project, I think she has the right face for it, but somehow, guys, I have run out of regular Frankie dolls, so I will have to make sort of a Frank and Frankie out of these two dolls. I will have a hat of this unbendable Frankie, remember that failed Monster High release? That was a disaster, really. And I will combine it with this normal body, it's bendable, without 3D stitches, and I think it will be absolutely perfect together. So, let's do it, let's undress her, let's cut her hair off, and then I will free this beautiful head from this stiff body. I'm using pure acetone, like always, to remove her original makeup. You can see there is a crack in her head, so I want to fix it quickly before painting. And then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and it will, as per usual, help me to make the doll's rubber face suitable for drawing on it with pencils and also with soft pastels. 
So I start the makeover with changing her skin tone from green to some light nude and I'm using pink pastels to neutralize the green. I think this is the quickest way that also gives the best results. And I want to capture that expression on her face with this raised eyebrow, like on this picture, you know, like Scarlett is giving an eyebrow to all this local society. I think it's so Scarlett and I want my doll to have that very sassy look. Vivian Lee had blue eyes and Scarlett has green eyes in the novel. So they had to color correct Vivian's eyes in post-production of the movie. And this is exactly what I want to do with my doll as well. I will first draw blue eyes and then I will kind of color correct them a little bit with green soft pastels.
great. The face looks really good to me, so now let's do the same to her body, because it is supposed to be the same color as her face. And when I was already busy sending her body to make it more suitable for sealing and blushing, I suddenly noticed that this doll has a broken neck anchor. I don't know how could I miss it before. That's so funny that I was so focused on bigger things that I've completely missed the essentials, the basics. So I will have to do some neck anchor transplantation first from another doll body. And then I will continue working on her body color. Okay, the face and the body look good, this step has been finished and now it's time for my mom to do her magic creating the dress for my Scarlet. We've decided to go for this red dress with feathers, with rhinestones, with a train. I think this is one of the most epic dresses in movie history in general. I don't know, it's just stunning, it's absolutely breathtaking, it's unforgettable. But to be completely honest, there are quite a lot of amazing dresses in the Gone with the Wind movie. I was choosing from approximately four or five different dresses, but this one is still my favorite. So, my mom starts with making not the dress itself, but her underwear and also the skirt with hoops that will give the main dress the correct shape. And then when all these undergarments are finished, she moves on to the dress itself, making it out of red velvet, of course. The skirt has quite a long train and it's also gathered on the back to create this more kind of padded silhouette. So my mom will have to recreate all this gathering on the back and this is 
some job, I can tell you honestly. Just check her out how she makes it. This is the finished dress guys that arrived at my house and check it out it all looks simply amazing this underwear is super adorable really very cute then the skirt to create more volume on her lower back it's also some piece of art and then of course the dress itself absolutely stunning shining with feathers gosh this is just so 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 pretty let's probably put it on a doll to see kind of the full picture And what do you think? <laughs> I think it's stunning, really. So gorgeous. Another mom's masterpiece. Send her some love in the comments, please. I think she really deserves it. So now I need to make a pair of shoes to fit the dress. I couldn't find what kind of shoes Vivian Lee wore with this dress in the movie. But I want to make something very shiny and sparkly, like the dress itself. And I will make my shoes out of Warbler thermoplastic, obviously, because Warbler is just the best material for making those shoes. So I've already cut out all these parts. Now I'm going to warm them up with a hair dryer and connect them together.
The heels for the shoes I'm making out of toothpicks and hot glue. It's a good working technique. And now I'm going to paint my shoes and cover them with very fine and very sparkly red glitter. Like if I didn't have enough of glitter a week ago working on my new Ariel doll. By the way, the new Little Mermaid movie is already out when you're watching this video. Have you watched it already? I have not yet. I'm still in the past working on this doll. But I'm probably planning to watch it this weekend after this video comes out. Here are the finished shoes, guys. I think they look really extra and also think they really fit this look. But anyway, nobody will ever see them under this long dress, but we know that this pair of shoes is there. So now I still need to make her hair and I will use this black acrylic yarn for it because I think it will be easier for me to style this yarn than some regular doll hair because Vivian slash Scarlett has quite a difficult hairdo to recreate. But let's talk about styling a little bit later and right now I'm turning this yarn into soft black hair and then I will glue these fibers, this hair to her head. Then when the glue gets dry, I can start styling her hair, trying to recreate the hairstyle from the movie. And there Scarlett has her bangs curled on top of her head. And then the rest of her hair is styled like, like this on the picture, you can see it. I don't know how to describe it. She has kind of locks on the back of her head. So I will try to do my best working on it and trying to recreate this hairstyle.
I'm using see-through acrylic varnish to fix the curls because they should be properly glued together, otherwise it won't last long. This is where I've ended up with it. I think it looks really recognizable. I'm very happy about it. So now I just need to attach false lashes, add crystal earrings, add glows to horizon lips, and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. Here she is, guys! 
stunning and sassy and so beautiful. I've struggled with some tiny issues here and there throughout this project, but everything looks absolutely gorgeous in the end. I was really worried about styling her hair. It was the first time I tried to recreate this kind of hairstyle and I was kind of ready for a long battle, but everything went really smoothly and I'm really happy with how it all turned out. I also love her look with that raised eyebrow. She looks like a real sassy queen. And of course my mom's dress is just a piece of art on its own. So beautiful really. Please guys don't forget to send your love to my mom. I think she deserves it once again. And there is by the way another doll in a dress made by my mom coming up in the nearest future. Literally in a couple of weeks. So please stay tuned. And now guys let's talk about this doll, about everything you liked or maybe disliked about it, it's also okay. And also please let me know if you want to see more dolls inspired by classic Hollywood stars and maybe classic Hollywood characters on my channel and who exactly you would like to see. I'm really curious to hear your opinion and your suggestions. So, and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay. The link is in the description under this video, like usually. So, please check it out if you are interested. So, guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in two weeks on Friday in my new doll makeover. Love you guys. Bye.